Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Welcome here on this problem with uh, Sioux Falls physics teachers. We're going to look at some energy released in alpha decay. So we want to calculate the amount of energy that gets released when in one alpha decay event of, in this case, plutonium-239. So the first thing we need to do is, let's write our uh, equation here for this alpha decay. So we're starting with the element plutonium-239. And so, using the data from our appendix here, we know that plutonium has an atomic number of 94, and they're giving us the mass of 239. We have alpha decay. Remember, that is going to produce a helium-4 and a daughter element as well. And to figure out what goes in for our daughter element, uh, this one's going to end up becoming uranium. We think about the mass number that is involved here. We're going to have 235. And the atomic number would be 92. And again, that is the element for uranium. And again, those are values here that are, that are also given in our appendix. All right. Now... Where this comes into play next is to calculate the energy. And even though we have written this somewhat as a balanced equation, the, the actual atomic mass is not completely conserved. If we look out to um, several significant digits here, we'll see that there is a difference in mass. And what we will end up wanting to do is try to figure out what that difference in mass is. So first of all, let's look at the actual mass of the plutonium that we started with here. If we use our information from our data table here, uh, we will see that for plutonium-239, that the actual atomic mass of that is 239.052157. And so I'll go ahead and jot that down here. And that is given in atomic mass units. I'm going to then subtract from that the mass of my uranium-235 and the mass of the helium-4 added together. So mass of uranium-235 is given here. That is 235.04395. And I want to add that to the mass of the helium-4, which is given just above it, as 4.002602. Alright, so just going to do some arithmetic here with several significant digits. Again, both of these are in atomic mass units. And when I calculate that out and subtract the difference there, I end up getting a difference in mass that is equal to 0 0.005631 atomic mass units as the difference in my mass. Now this problem asks us to calculate the energy that is released. Well we know that if that's my difference in mass that the energy released is equal to that mass times the speed of light squared. So E equals mc squared. So now that we have that atomic mass unit of 0 0.005631, that's the difference in mass there, 
We could easily put that into our E equals MC squared equation, but we would have to convert a bunch of units. We would have to put our mass into kilograms, and then we would have to you know, take the speed of light and square it, calculate our energy. Uh, we have a conversion that's given to us that will make that much easier. That will actually convert the units and go ahead and multiply it by C squared right away. And so my energy could actually be or calculated by taking that mass in the atomic mass units and multiplying it by 931 and that will put this in mega electron volts over C squared. That conversion will then go ahead and give me my energy in mega electron volts. And so when I calculate that out, I get 5.242 mega electron volts of energy that are released during that decay.